Protoscoping is a must know when it comes to editing music videos nowadays, and today I'm going to be showing you guys every single secret I know when it comes to rotoscoping. Opened up inside of After Effects here, we have these two clips from the Central C music video, and on these clips here, basically I'm going to be showing you guys a ton of tricks and secrets on how to make your rotoscoping 10 times easier and probably faster too. So to start off on this clip here, you guys can see the shadows are kind of blending in with the top of his hat here, and you would think this would be really, really hard to rotoscope. So a workaround for this, what we could do is click on our clip, press Control D to duplicate it. And what we're gonna do on this top clip right here is we're gonna go and type up Lumetri Color, drag and drop that on here, and we're gonna go inside of Basic Correction, and under Exposure here, we're gonna go ahead and turn that up, and then we're gonna turn the shadows up as well here. So you guys can see his hat becomes a little bit more visible, but don't worry if it makes your footage look like shit, just don't worry about that right now. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click, go over to pre-compose, and we're gonna move all attributes into the new composition, and then we're gonna hit okay. So now that this is pre-composed, what we could do is go over to our rotoscope tool, double click on it, and we could rotoscope this now with the hat being a lot more visible compared to before. So we're just gonna draw our rotoscope, and now that our rotoscope is done, we're basically gonna skip through the video, just making sure nothing gets messed up here. And now that that looks good, we're gonna go ahead and hit this freeze button here, which is super important. Have you guys ever rotoscope before and you noticed that while you're doing your effects, the rotoscope has to load? We're gonna go ahead and hit freeze to avoid that. It's gonna pre-render the rotoscope and get that out of the way for you guys. So now if we go back inside of our composition, you guys can see Central C is rotoscoped out and he has the black background here. Now we're going to go inside of the composition, click on this, and turn off the Lumetri Color now. And now that the Lumetri Color is off, you guys can see we have the exact same cutout for our clip, but it's back to the original color grading. Just some tips as well for rotoscoping. If we click on it, you guys can play with the feather here, which is going to blur the edges. And then you can move the shift edge towards the center, which is basically going to take the rotoscope and pinch it in. Now let's say, for example, you're dealing with hair. A great way to rotoscope with hair, we'll use this clip as an example here, is if we double click on our clip, we go over to rotoscope. So just for example, we're gonna rotoscope this guy's head out here and then we're gonna hit freeze and we're gonna let that whole thing render out. All right, and now that we have that done, pretty much what you could do is if we go up into our roto brush now, we click and drag on it. You guys can see we have the refine edge tool. So pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna use this for like hair for very specific details. So it says unfreeze to update. So we're gonna unfreeze that and we're gonna click and we're gonna drag around this hair here. And you guys can see it's going to do this kind of x-ray effect just to see all the fine edges. This probably isn't the best clip to use this on. You want to kind of do it on someone who has super wavy hair. But then if we go through, you guys can see it's just going to track his head. And if I hit freeze again and we go back into our composition, you guys could see his hair is tracked a lot better. Those are just some super quick secrets to rotoscope that I thought you guys should know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.